This is Chippy from the My Omnia Pro blog with the Omnia Pro B7610 with the OLED uh, 800x480 screen, the 800MHz ARM11 processor. Uh, in this video I want to show you the browser and some of the uh, features of the browser and basically just do some browsing speed tests to give you an idea of uh, what sort of performance you, you can expect from it. Uh, Pre-installed is Opera Mobile 9.5 which is a, quite a nice browser, it has some nice features, bookmarking, zooming, etc, etc. We're connected over the Wi-Fi here and I'm hoping that I can zoom in uh, well enough with this camera so that you can actually see what's going on. Uh, Let's start with a couple of mobile pages. Here is uh, uh, Google Reader. So we've got kinetic scrolling. The actual scroll um, works at half the speed that your finger moves. Sorry, it moves half the distance that your finger moves. I would prefer that it would be maybe two times the distance that your finger moves, but yeah, that's how it's set up. So let's uh, open a little Google Reader article there. Fairly quick to get uh, detail. Double click to zoom out, double click to zoom in, and it reflows the text as well. So no problems there on mobile sites. Um, let's go to something a little bit more uh, taxing and we'll go to Engadget.com here and uh, load that one up. Now Engadget.com is a very graphics heavy site. It's got a huge front page and it's so it's quite uh, intensive for uh, download and uh, rendering. Um, I've switched flash support off at the moment because in fact uh, flash light seems to be really causing a lot of hiccups on this and it's only needed for uh, video sites and in fact to be honest uh, the processor is not powerful enough to run the, the flash um, well anyway so I'm tending to leave it switched off. So that's in gadget fully loaded there. You'll notice that there's some lag in backfill when you scroll quickly there you go, this, uh, you'll see the checkered pattern there underneath. But this um, kinetic scrolling there, there's again some lag on the backfill. Double click to zoom in and you'll see it reflow the text as well. So, reasonable experience. And uh, it's the same for most uh, websites that haven't got too much JavaScript and uh, as long as you've got flash turned off the actual uh, content is viewable pretty quickly. Even while it's downloaded, downloading, you can zoom in and start reading the text. Zooming out. Let's go for a couple of other websites here. So we go to the um, favorites list. We're going to go to TechMeme. And that's a very basic front page. Not too much JavaScript, not too much Flash and that should render pretty quickly. Already the text is there, it's still working out the layout and the page and downloading the graphics and if I zoom out it looks like most of the layout is done now and if we double click to zoom you'll see it reflow and then we can click and in this case go to the Boy Genius Report. Uh, I like the fact that it gives you a little bit of um, feedback from the vibrator in here when you press a link you actually know that you've pressed a link and that's uh, that's really nice and you can also set it to give you audible feedback on that as well so we're on boy genius here scrolling around again the backfill problem takes a little while to do that but in general the speed on browsing there now there's a flash element that you'll see is uh, not showing because I've turned flash off now let's take it up a notch and in, uh, I'll also show you uh, typing as well. We're going to go to a full Google Reader site. So this is the Samsung on-screen keyboard um, and it's, it's not bad at all actually. So reader.google.com I'll show you landscape mode in a minute. So this is reader.google.com, uh, full JavaScript version. And let's see what it says there. Okay, and now it's starting to, to download the um, JavaScript. This is mainly a JavaScript page. 
Well, you'll see basically is that it takes a huge amount of time to process this page, and it's way over a minute before the page is actually rendered. Uh, and then actually moving around the page is, uh, is pretty bad as well. So the JavaScript is now downloaded, and it's doing its AJAX work in the background to download the, uh, the data into the page. Let's rotate that. Because it's using a lot of CPU, the rotation takes a little while, but there you, go, you can see that uh, the rotation at least is working. CPU really being loaded here as it tries to uh, download and render the, uh, the data in the background through the, uh, through the JavaScript. Let's put that into portrait mode again. And in fact, I'm going to stop that because the, uh, the time it takes to download Google Reader means it's really pretty unusable. Let's try a few other websites. Um, let's try news. Whoops. Huh? News. Okay, that web page is still trying to download in the background. And I'm actually having a little problem actually getting some text in here. As soon as we get away from that page, that should solve that problem. So news.google.com here. And I've switched to Opera to show the uh, to show itself as a desktop browser rather than a mobile browser. So we should get the full uh, desktop Google News page. Uh, that's downloading this. Okay, so they're downloading now. There we go. And uh, already we can zoom in. And basically, as I said before, the uh, using it as a browser is really not a problem. It's actually quite enjoyable uh, for casual browsing. The text, the font size is really nice. Rotation works quite uh, smoothly. Scrolling works quite smoothly. And this backfill doesn't take too long, he says, too long to, to fill in. So it's not too bad there at all. Let's um, have a look at a couple more pages just to give you an idea. So, um, UMP. Oops. MPC. Get the text right. It's a bit difficult to type while I've got the device offset for the camera. MPC portal. Dot com. And there's some Flash, some JavaScript, and quite a few images on the front page, umpcportal.com. And on average, these pages are taking around 20 seconds to complete, but the nice thing is, of course, you're able to get into the content before the page is complete, and uh, even click links and start getting through to the article pages before the page is uh, fully downloaded text is downloaded, it's rendering the page now. We can zoom in. Should reflow, yep. Uh, in this case, no, it didn't. yes it did reflow, so it's always a nice feature that reflows the text into one screen size. If we put it in landscape mode, it should reflow into that size as well. Uh, not quite in this case. Let me show you the little zoom feature. Uh, Press and click, and then drag down to zoom out, and up to zoom in, up to two times zoom, and down to very small. Something's still loading on that page, maybe an advert or something. No, it's, it's finished loading now, and it's reflowed as well, so that's good. Um, what else? Let's have a test of something very interactive. How about Mebo.com? M-E-E-B-O.com. Let's go for that. Amiibo is a pure... Oh, it's not Nubo, is it? Um, M-E-E... Uh, just delete that. So, Mebo.com. And 
it's trying to download the page zoom out and there's the problem again with uh, JavaScript heavy pages there's just not enough CPU processing power to render and uh, run the JavaScript without it taking far too long really anything over 30 seconds becomes too long in my opinion and in fact it looks like that one's completely failed to load altogether so incompatible website there of course you've got the uh, keyboard as well so you're able to um, type in uh, text on the keyboard which is fairly quick press return going to google.com google mobile there's a lot of usage of information bars but they um, move out the way fairly quickly so in summary then um, pretty good for browsing with Opera Mobile uh, very good for mobile sites um, the text quality is fantastic the contrast when you use it indoors is superb because the OLED screen and Opera Mobile has some uh, very nice features as well uh, but it's really not good enough for interactive web pages Java heavy web pages and uh, flash doesn't seem to be working too well and I think uh, I believe it's flashlight on this so um, there you go there's uh, web browsing on the uh, Omnia Pro B7610 uh, this has been Chippy from the My Omnia Pro blog thanks for watching and I'll try and get some more videos up of, uh, of this uh, soon showing you the user interface and a few other applications on the device Thanks for watching.